hey, real quick before the video starts, please go check out my plush on ONASH.com if you want to buy one. Uh, they're super cute, really funny. Uh, the little ad is also on my channel if you want to learn a little bit more about it. But genuinely, buying this is the best way to support my channel, and there's only a week left to buy it. So please go buy, go buy, go buy. Where are we now? I have no idea. Oh god. One more long dark forest and I'm gonna lose it. Hey, do, do you guys see that church over there? Oh my god. I mean, it's just a church. It's nothing to get all excited about. No, no, I I mean, because like, because like, oh my god, because it, it's just... It... Never mind. What? Whatever. I say we make haste. Perhaps they know the whereabouts of the land. Wait, you want us to go towards that thing? Well, it's just a church. God people are lovely. I mean, there was the Crusades. Don't even get me started about modern day. You guys are such worry wards. Of course you're gonna find a bad egg every once in a while, but like, let's just give these people a chance. Everyone deserves a chance. I mean, I'm not disagreeing with you. What about you? Mm, I don't know about this one, guys. Listen, you like dark magic spells and demons. I, I I don't think you like this no matter what it was. Ugh, fine. But the moment they start waterboarding me, I'm out of there. Somebody's biased. Huh. There's a lot of crow-like effigies around here. That's not particularly weird. I don't like the way you said that. Uh, hey, anyone home? We come in peace. Yeah, it's cool. It's a pretty big bell up there. Who goes there? Hey, Pop goes. Just a hunch. I don't think these are friendly, God-loving people. Did the door just slam shut? <sighs> okay, Spring Trap. Maybe time to go. Wait, guys, hold on. I I'm getting a little bit of a strange vibe here. Man, you better figure out what that is really quickly, because I don't want to get sacrificed. Would you calm down? I am calm. I just am increasingly not getting calm. The crow effigies. Something lines up too well. What, is one of your friends a crow or something? Uh, yeah, actually. <sighs> Why'd you have to say that? Ah! Oh no, okay, okay, I think we need to get out of here now. Wait, wait, we can't just leave Popgo's friend here. Tucky, come on, man, I, I should have had time to say I really don't like dark places. Just calm down, I'm sure we can reason with them. What was that? Uh, hey, listen, man. Maybe you're just really bad at first impressions. Listen, I'm just saying, uh, you know, you could just approach us, say hi, you don't have to turn the lights off and be all scary. I just gotta say, man, cats have really bad bladders, and, uh, <laughs> I don't think you want it to smell like pee in here, so maybe you should stop doing this to me! Hello there. Uh, who are you? And what are you doing in this nice church? Respecting the wills of the Lord above. How about you? Just passing through. Ooh. So, how bad do you not like the smell of pee? Oh, don't worry. I'll get my men to clean that up. Boys, get in here with the mop. Step aside. Uh, oh, hey, Kenny, watch out. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, guys. That was really gross. Hey, man, we all pee ourselves at some point. I mean, when I did it, I was a child, but it's fine. So, Mr. Spindly Guy, uh... Oh, please. Mr. Spindly Guy was my father's name. Call me Mr. Squiggly Guy. Okay, Mr. Squiddly Guy. What kind of god do you worship in this church? Oh, well, we worship the Morrigan. Wait, isn't that the Irish goddess of war, witchcraft, death, retribution, and... I don't remember the fifth thing. I'm surprised you remembered any of that. Well, the European curriculum is a little more centered in Europe. Anyways, I heard goddess of death, uh, so you're a cult. I think cult is a little bit of a strong word, a bit, of, a bit of a derogatory term, you know, for what we are. Hey man, derogatory? Cults are my thing, man. So why did we trust this bloke again? Hey, look how far he's gotten us, he's nice. However, yes, the cult thing is a turnoff. Come meet the gang, why won't you? Uh, okay, why not? He did a 180 fast. Your friend better be here, or else. Or else what? Or else I'll give you a very big hug. Aww. And then I'll turn around and use you as a meat shield. Okay. Come on, meat shield, let's go. Okay. Friends, we have visitors. This is a large majority of the gang. Two of our friends are cleaning up the little kitty's mess, and the other two are, uh, washing a good friend. Huh. Fun. So, what kind of rituals do y'all perform here? Ooh, our acts of worship. I'm glad you asked. Phantom Balloon Boy, do you mind going to get the panel? Uh, okay! Mmm. 
That's a pentagram. It's actually the lucky North Star. Common misconception, I know. So it's carved into a stone plaque. May I ask what the red markings are? Cranberry juice. Are we really gonna buy this guy? Uh, I mean, has he given us a reason not to? I don't know, maybe when he did this and scared the piss out of me, literally. I apologize for that, friend. That is a common greeting in our Irish culture. Oh my God. So, um, I know this sounds a bit strange, but why are you giving your friend a wash? Who? Oh, our friend? Well, you see, we have very, very recently stumbled upon a great messiah. One that has been spoken in legends. Yes, it is said that the messiah will bring us good fortune. And that they will bring us the one thing we seek from the Morrigan. You know, guys, I'm pretty shocked. You guys worship the Irish god of death and Shamrock Freddy isn't here. Eh? Eh? Do you just assume there's a Freddy Fazbear out there that's just themed after, like, St. Patrick's Day? Well, assume I've seen him! I have a hard time believing you. He, I'm not talking about in the multiverse, dude, at my home. My home has a Irish-themed Freddy Fazbear based off St. Patrick's Day. He's green with green eyes, has a gold chain, and a four-leaf clover on his little top hat. This is low spring trap. Wait, I'm not! Oh my god. Do you have proof? Pro of course I don't have proof! I brought literally nothing with me! He's not exactly my best friend! And now you don't even like the guy? I am this close to leaving the two of you here. Mr. Blue Cat, sir, we have finished cleaning up your residue. Thanks for announcing that to the crowd of people. Uh, do you mind directing me to this messiah you speak of? Oh, well, I don't know exactly why you would decide to see them bathe, but, uh, they're around the hall and a couple doors down uh, on the left. I don't, but okay, thanks. Pop goes, where are you going? Uh, just checking something. I'll be back. Uh, I guess just me and you, Candy. So, uh, what do you all like to do for fun? Uh, we could play a round of Connect Four. I called Dublin going first. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, perhaps this is the room. Uh, hello? Perhaps I shall scrub your tail feathers. Oh, thank you. I've been meaning to get those trimmed. Would you like me to go grab the scissors? No, no, I'd rather get a professional to do it. Do you guys have directions to any good barbers around here? I believe there are a few in town. Hmm, quite. Uh, who are you? Uh, this is the only bathroom in your guy's church, so I was told to come here to use it. Ah, he's got a point. Oh, I was really betting on this being the only bathroom. Be careful around him, friend. He is the messiah. So I've been told. Hey, buddy. You might want to turn around. Hmm? Oh! Hello there, Pop Goes! I'm so glad to have finally found you! Ugh. Hey, wait. I haven't clipped your toenails yet. Oh, don't be a bother. It'll be fine. Hello, Pop Goes. I see you've come to rescue me. Hi, Stone. It's uh, been a minute. Yes, yes. It appears I had been kidnapped and placed in Ireland. I must have fell off the boat or the truck, though, because I just woke up in the middle of nowhere. Perhaps the crate I was in disintegrated as well. Or the ropes. Or any harness that was keeping me together, for that matter. Or maybe they weren't keeping me in anything at all. Considering I'm so polite, I would definitely be polite to the person that kidnapped me. Uh, so, funny story. Yes? Um, let's just say this is Ireland. Maybe? Is this Ireland? Yes, this is Ireland. Okay, just checking. This is Ireland. However, it's not the island from our universe, Stone. What? What preposterous things are you spouting? I know it sounds crazy. You'll have to give me time to explain. Please stop confusing the messiah. You are hurting his brain. Oh, my brain is quite fine, thank you. However, Pop goes, you are saying some very confusing things. Listen, I'll explain it when we get back. Let's just get out of here. Oh, but do we have to? These people have been treating me so well, like I'm some kind of god. I have no idea why, though. We've told you like six times you're the messiah. The messiah to our great Morrigan. Stone, do you not know what the Morrigan is? I never passed Ninth Mark history. Anyways, Stone, it doesn't matter. We have to get you out of here and get you home. Oh, hmm, perhaps you're right. However, can I at least say goodbye to my friends? What are you talking about? He can't leave. He must stay. At least for one more night. One more night? Well... Please, Pop Goes, they've treated me so well all this time. I feel like it would be rather rude to leave them in the dust. 
you sure they're not like some kind of evil cult? Cult? Well, hmm. You're not, right? Uh, no. Well, that's good enough for me. Uh, all right, fine. I guess one more night, but then we have to go home. I met some new friends trying to find you. I'll introduce you to them. All right, then. Hey, guys, I'm back. Oh, hey, Pop Goes. Sure, uh, did you find him? Well, let's just say I did. Hello, everyone. Oh, are these your friends, Pop Goes? Uh, yes, this is Candy and Springtrap. Sup? Oh, my, you appear to be an utter mess. No good, no good. A real charmer. Ooh, does it smell of piss? <laughs> I wonder who did that. Well, besides those two things, you two seem like nice square folk. Yeah. Can we get out of here now? Hang on, guys. It's a part of the deal. He gets to stay one more night, because they all want him to, so... Oh, that's great! Well, great messiah, it's good to know you'll be here for the rest of the night. Yes, indeed. It'll be sad saying goodbye to all of you, but I generally appreciate your hospitality. Yes. And we appreciate your generosity. So, um, what now? Well, we must do our nightly worship. Everyone stand around the effigy. Come on, you three, get in. Uh oh, uh, I, I, I mean. Uh, well, I mean, if Stone says it's fine, then uh, all right. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, this can't be any different than any other ritual I've done before. Tonight, I would like to hold a special prayer in honor of the one and only Stone the Crow, which has blessed our hearts with the Morrigan's presence. Stone, would you please enter the circle? Oh, well, of course. It's so kind of you all to be making me your special guest. Uh, hey, man, I don't like where this is going. Trust me, it's completely safe. Everyone bow your heads. <sighs> Um, come on, you two. All right, jeez, come on, Candy. Uh, Stone, would you please hold the peace offering? Oh, we've never done a peace offering before. This thing is rather, um, there, how do I put it? Gross. Trust me, it's okay. It was uh, ethically sourced. All right, well, if you say so. The hell is it? Keep your head bowed, young man. All right, damn. By the Morrigan's gift and grace, we offer this peace offering, meant to bestow upon your God-given protection from the harbingers of war, and most importantly, death. We hope you bless each and every single soul here with immortality. What? Uh, do, do, wait, hold on, do, do I want to be immortal? Please, take the peace offering of this young crow and make each and every one of your worshippers immortal. Wait, what? Hang on, wait. Uh, ah! What's going on? Oh my god! Put your hands down, boys, if you wish to be immortal. Ma'am, would you please get your hands off of me? You appear to be flying. Uh, 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 no! My immortality! Oh, thank you, kind sir. I should have known. Do not interfere! Oh, great, that's what I get for trusting. Ah! Candy! Uh. So do we keep our heads down? What, do you not want to be immortal? True. How do we all get together? We're gonna have to get Candy to lead it over here. Candy, come this way! Uh, it's a little difficult! Whoa! Ah! Candy! Are we dealing with a ghoul? Yeah, safe to say. How are we gonna stop this thing? I don't know. Perhaps if we take out the one who started the ritual, we can take her out too. Who might that be? Ah, do not interfere! Uh, I think it's this guy! I may be old, but I'm not going down without a fight! Oh! Uh. Uh, ow! Thanks, Pop Goes! Uh, thanks for catching me. I was being sarcastic! <laughs> How do we take him down easy? Oh, I've got an idea. Stone! Yes? Can you fly? I don't see why not. What do you need it for? Go up to the bell. Oh, I see. You want to use some kind of loud sound to scare the monster away. Oh, I'm so smart. Uh, yeah, sure. You're not going to undo all my hard work! Ow! Hey, Spinley! Go get your messiah! Hello from down there. 
Oh, I can make this bell ring. It doesn't seem to be working! We're still dancing like monkeys over here! My friend would take offense to that! What? Oh, get down from there, boy! Uh, the sound wasn't really my plan! Ah, you want him? Go get him! Uh, 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 get down from there! Uh, hey, Stone, hold really tight on that bell! Well, all right then! <gasps> oh, my! No! Oh, oh, oh. oh no! You bother! Why would you throw something at me like that? You almost killed me! Ow, ow, ow! Hey, it works! <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Get it, cause we're in a in a church. <sighs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Ow, the point was to get you to fall so the bell would fall on him! No, but you almost hurt me! You were the only one that could fly to grab it! I needed something to pull it down. And announcing that out loud would have been a little too obvious. Uh, whatever! <sighs> we did it. Uh, uh, are we immortal now? Uh, yeah, you're all immortal. Go home. Woo! I'm immortal! Let's go! Oh boy, I'm gonna go get ran over by a car to test it out! Uh, I wouldn't... Maybe telling them they were mortal was a bad idea. However, they were probably going to kill us if we didn't, so... Well, uh, everybody get together. Let's get out of here. Yes, yes, I'm ready to head home. Yes, uh, Sarah and Saffron are already there. You'll meet up with them, and they can give you the rundown. Yes, yes, because this has all been very confusing. Well, perhaps maybe this is just one big dream. Uh, I wish it was. All right, gang, after our peer review meeting, I got you all to draw up some ideas. So what do we got? Ooh, ooh, I want to go first. All right, Chica, shoot your shot. Between you and me, you's one of the smartest peoples amongst us. Uh, what can I say? The chick's got the brains of the group. Okay, so my idea is we find the three, you know, little guys, the musketeers, the amigos, and we eat them. We eat them with our big mouths and blood goes everywhere. And then we rip their limbs off. And then we watch as they die a slow, painful death. <laughs> What's your idea, Cupcake? Oh, we both uh, contributed to this one since, you know, I don't got any arms and I can't uh, draw. Uh -huh. Can't believe it took two brains to think how stupid this idea is. But I thought you said... I lied! Ugh, whatever. Bonnie, what's your idea? Okay... My idea... So my idea is... Uh, we take a video camera and record them. Uh, and then we get a big CRT TV. And then we put the three of them on it. And we make them watch. And then part way into the video, uh, we start putting a bunch of blood uh, and scary eyeballs and faces all over it. Uh, and then we distort them, and then they get so scared, they explode. <laughs> and that's my idea. Uh huh. So how confident are you in this whole getting so scared of the explode thing? Well, I haven't done research on it. But those people that react to those YouTube videos yell so loud when it happens, I think that they're about to explode. So I think if we make it just scary enough, they will explode. Idiot. Everyone knows those videos are faked. My idea. All around me are familiar. <sighs> All right. Foxy, how about your idea? Uh, um, uh, 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 uh. Uh, never mind, Freddy. Mine was stupid, too. Ugh, why am I in a room with a bunch of morons? Well, if I bad, I don't see you contributing any good ideas to this group. I'm the man that enacts the ideas. I don't come up with them. Sure, sure. Zip lip, Cupcake, or I will overcook you. <sighs> Freddy, we tried our best. Ugh, I'm not trying to be so hot on you guys, but we're running out of time. If Phil finds out about this... If I find out about what? Ah! Sorry to drop in uninvited. Ah, we're not kidding, I'm not sorry. But, uh, you guys are just sitting around. Drawing little kitty drawings with your markers. Uh, actually, that's, that's blood. 
Ugh. Making your little kitty drawings instead of catching those multiverse and hopping hooligans. Hooligans, that's what I like to say. Well, sir, they're a little bit harder to get than we thought they would be. Yeah. They're pretty strong. They're pretty smart. Yeah, it's strong. I don't want to hear it. Those three are nothing compared to us. Hell, the Springtrap guy said it himself. So I don't know why you little insulin morons are struggling so bad. I don't know, Phil. It's just not exactly easy. You call me Fiznom. You're my underling. Hey, uh, Phil, what are you doing back here? <laughs> Whatever. Who the heck are these guys? Ugh, these are the, the FNAF Plus Task Force, my little uh, police guys I made. Oh yeah, I saw them a few months ago. These guys are supposed to catch those little multiversal hopping hooligans. What? What are you talking about? Did you care to explain, Emil? We lost feed on Springtrap a while ago. However, he appears to have picked up some friends. Not to mention that fact, but he has also figured out a way to travel across the multiverse. What? How? Perhaps it's with the watch we so nonchalantly gave him. I thought those things were security proof. When it overheated, it probably fried all the security servers. So now he has a watch that can just travel across dimensions. I know we don't typically let this stuff slide, however, we are all very busy right now. What's the harm in letting them just, I don't know, go? Would you also care to explain, Emil? Well, we didn't quite lose audio signal. And based on what's been coming through, there's a lot of mentions of death and dictator and taking down the hierarchy and essentially disestablishing our whole establishment. They really are coming for us. Ugh, another pain in my neck. That's why I hired these schmucks to try and, well, I guess I say hired, I made them to do this job. However, they are miserably failing at it. We're trying our best, boss. Well, you're not trying fast enough. All right, Phil, all right. Listen, if Scott hears about this, he's going to be outraged. Isn't it technically his fault this whole thing happened anyway? He's the one that gave him the watch. You think he's gonna care about that? Yes, so the best thing to do is just lay it on low so the boss doesn't find out about it. So I don't find out about what? Ah! <clears throat> Hi, Scott. Good evening, developers. Ah, I see Phil's gotten busy. How'd you know I made these guys? Let's just say your design philosophy sticks out. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Come barge in here and salt my little guys? Does anyone knock around here anymore? You didn't knock either. I said, tip it! <gasps> Are we having a party in here? Or is there something I'm missing? No, sir, we're just talking about our future projects. Good. I've been up to my own Five Nights at Freddy's movie universe myself. It's been going quite nicely. I imagine your individual projects are also coming along swimmingly. Uh, yeah. Trying to get stuff salted for the reboot is annoying. Yeah. But we're scattering everybody as best we can. Good, good. Wouldn't want inferior forms running around. Once they lose purpose, well, they start to go haywire. Anyways, happy to hear you're all doing well. I'm going to go model some birds. What is it with him and birds? I have no idea. Ugh. Hey, wait a minute. Can, can I see that real quick? Oh, 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 this is a good one. Can I, can I use this? Uh, uh yeah, no, no, don't even bother answering. I'm, I'm going to anyway. 